Science. Dandelions are typically regarded as the scourge of gardeners, but scientists around the world are currently engaged in a race to utilize the humble dandelion's ability to produce tire-grade rubber in its roots. At Fraunhofer Institute for Molecular Biology and Applied Ecology in Munster, Germany, scientists are working to breed a type of dandelion native to Kazakhstan whose taproot yields a milky fluid with tire-grade rubber particles in it. We have um, dandelion, as you can see here around us, and we are looking for genes involved in the biosynthesis of rubber. And with this knowledge, we would like to create novel plants that producing more rubber, more stable rubber under field conditions. The natural product obtained in this manner exhibited the same quality as the conventional rubber from trees imported from subtropical countries and used in tire production. However, unlike the conventional rubber, it could be harvested more cost-effectively, better cultivated and grown in Europe, even on land areas not previously suited for agricultural crops. Uh, one of the main challenges uh, in dandelion research was to produce plants, novel plants, that have an improved rubber content, that have a good agronomic behavior on the field. And that is why we're working since years on the breeding program to develop new traits in the plants, stabilized traits, for example, a stable rubber content. Far from hoping that the rubber tree can be replaced, tire makers would most likely be happy with the complementary source, as the record high price of rubber has added urgency to the search for alternative crops. In tests, the experimental rubber has performed on a par with conventional natural rubber, but it will take some more years of development, even after the ongoing projects end, before the first dandelion tires appear on the market.